NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg is planning to ask member nations to commit to providing over $43 billion per year in military aid for Ukraine. This move comes as NATO's foreign ministers gather for discussions in Prague. Previously, NATO officials mentioned a potential aid of 100 billion euros over five years, translating to 20 billion euros annually. There's growing uncertainty about future U.S. support for Ukraine, especially with the possibility of Donald Trump returning to the White House. This has prompted NATO to seek more solid, long-term support for Ukraine. The foreign ministers will focus on finalizing a support package for Ukraine, set to be agreed upon at NATO's Washington summit in July. This package will include changes to the organization of weapons and ammunition supplies. A NATO source emphasized the need to maintain the current level of support, around 40 billion euros annually, since Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine began in February 2022. Stoltenberg's proposal includes NATO taking on the coordination of international military aid for Ukraine, giving the alliance a more direct role in the conflict without deploying its own forces. However, the Kremlin has criticized this move, accusing the US, NATO, and some European countries of escalating the conflict. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has expressed frustration with the slow decision-making process regarding military support from Western allies. NATO's coordination would take over from the US-led Ramstein Group, which has been handling arms donations and supplies. This shift is seen as an attempt to ensure consistent support, regardless of potential changes in US administration. Despite this, diplomats acknowledge that the US remains NATO's dominant power and can still influence the level of aid to Ukraine. NATO will also need to address resistance from Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban, who opposes the new effort, fearing it could lead to a catastrophic war with Russia. The ministers will also discuss recent changes in Western support for Ukraine, with some allies lifting restrictions on using donated weapons to strike inside Russia, a move that has drawn warnings from Russian President Vladimir Putin. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is expected to discuss whether Washington will align with this new stance. Recently, Blinken hinted at a possible change in the U.S. position, noting that as the battlefield evolves, so must the strategies and support provided to Ukraine. Since the start of Russia's invasion, the U.S. has been the largest financial and military supporter of Ukraine. Although it has maintained a stance against enabling strikes outside Ukrainian territory,